entertaining game this afternoon, Andy, but I mean, unfortunately I'll say you're out on, on the wrong side. What's your thoughts on the side Yeah, I thought we were, had a really slow start to the game. And United were deservedly in front by two, and we just couldn't really put our foot in the ball. We were giving it away cheaply, but we also spoke at half time and we had like three or four really good opportunities. Obviously, one's been cleared off by a corner with uh, Lauren Rayside going in a couple of times, um, and that's what happens at this level. If you don't take your chances, then you'll be punished, and rightly so. We were 2 0 down at half time, and we, we asked for a reaction at half time, and I believe we got that for the second half. Um, it's just a shame the way it's ended. Two subs at half time made a big difference. I mean, Michael's already claimed his tactical genius there, but do you think um, the changes did make a big difference, obviously, to how the yeah, second half Yeah, listen, it's, it's nothing against the girls that have came off, and this is what we always say it's a, a team game, and um, today we've made changes and it's worked. Sometimes we'll make changes and it doesn't work, um, and it's always nice when two players come on and they have that reaction, um, but it's nothing against the girls that came off. We were just looking for something a little bit different in the second half, a change of shape, and it worked for the first period of the second half, and then United have got their third goal and it's kind of killed their momentum. Obviously you got level like you said and United have had a player sent off as well. Do you think then it becomes a case of maybe you've got an extra player and you're that bit too confident that United have then come out and got the third goal? I think it just galvanises United um, and, and they, they played the better football and they deserve to go through. It's as simple as that. And um, But we're not sitting here making excuses. United were the better team on the day and they're rightly into the next round and best of luck to them in the next game. Um, you mentioned also some of the, the goals that's given away, but there are plenty of positives as well. What would you take out of this game in the league? Listen, we've created a lot of really good chances. Um, on another day, you maybe take two or three of the other chances and, and you give yourself a chance. Um, even late on in the game, we were still kind of chatting the door and still creating opportunities. We just couldn't find that cutting edge. Um, two goals that we've scored in the game, great finishes. Um, and we've been unlucky in a few other occasions in the second half, but all credit goes to United. They've, they've, they're the ones that have put it the next round and they've taken their chances well in the second half. Obviously, it's still very early days and the league's not kicked off yet, but yourself and United are many people's favourites. Obviously, they're up that top end of the season. Do you think that's kind of where it will go? And is today a good marker of that? Yeah, it's, it's nice to see that, that people are putting us up in these positions that we are the favourites, but you know, in football, you've got to earn the right to play, and we'll take nothing for granted because um, if you've seen our form in the early periods of last season, was where it put us in a real awkward situation, but it wasn't for the second half of the season where we got. Um, our success so we'll be going into every game treating it one game at a time and, and just staying fully focused on that and let everybody talk and we'll just quietly go about our business.